Good morning fellow crafters and YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to create a shadow effect using the system fonts. Now we all know that, well most of us know, that the Cricut Access fonts already come with a shadow effect automatically in there. See how there's two layers to create the shadow right over here? So that is awesome. However, what if you want to use a system font like the AR Essence? This one only has one layer. So what you need to do is and this kind of takes some playing around with just to get it perfectly how you want it. But what I do is I click ungroup just so I have each one each letter on groups, so you know I can move them around a little bit, create some more space. I'm going to copy um, on my computer it's Command C and then Command V to paste it. So I'm going to paste that over here and change the font a little bit or the color. And I'm move it to the back. And usually the shadows are a little bit bigger. There we go. And you can have it however you want. I mean, you can make it bigger. You can make your shadows look like this. You can. My personal favorite is kind of like how it is down here. Just having it off to the side. A tad like that. But having it more about the same height. So, I think that looks kind of neat. So I'm going to do the same with all the letters. So I'm going to copy the I and paste it. Go ahead and change the letter. And oh, I gotta move this to the back. And shadow it like that. Copy and paste. Move it to the back and put it on next to it. And I would stop the video now just because I know you know how to do this because I've done it to five letters now, or four letters. But I am going to continue with this just so you can see how I attach it when it's done. Um, so it can print all together. I think that looks kind of cool. I like it. And there's a ton of different fonts you can download. Like, I personally love dafont.com. I get a ton of my fonts there and put it into Cricut Design Space I put the different fonts in there just because they are very unique looking. So to be able to do that with some of these fonts is awesome. And let me show you one that I'm kind of thinking about. Just because there's like, there's really really neat, like, I don't know how to explain it, more like illustrated fonts if that makes sense where it's kind of, um, oops, move this to the back, or move this to the front. Um, they're, they kind of have designs or, um, different images on there. So, that's kind of neat. <laughs> Actually, I think I screwed up on that one. I made the wrong Y, um, black, but that is okay, because it still worked out. So right now it is still ungrouped. We are going to select all the black ones and go ahead and group them together. And same with the orange colored. Oops, I grabbed a, grabbed a little bit of the black. There we go. Group those together. There we go. And now you can choose. You can either have the black on, or the reddish orange on black, or you can change it up and do the black on top of the orange. And you can have it on this side or this side, whatever you prefer. And you can create the type of shadow that you want, not not what um, they're automatically giving you, which is awesome. So I think it would be kind of cool to use different fonts like the Heartland. I believe I have that one downloaded in here. Let me just check. I downloaded quite a few from Defont. 
my computer is kind of running slow because I have so much stuff on here. I recently downloaded um, the Lightroom and Photoshop, which is awesome. $10 a month. You can't beat that to be able to edit your pictures like that. That is super, super cool. Oops. Kind of lost everything here. So I think you can like you can search for fonts right up here, which makes it easier. Boy, my computer is really running slow right now. Come on. There we go. There's the heartland I was talking about. So to create a cool effect like with these hearts would be simply amazing. Um to create like a shadow effect with these. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And this would be super cute for like Valentine's Day or you know any any birthday party anything like that. Come on, that's too much slow on me right now. Let's go with uh, pink, rose pink. Oh yeah that is super cool, I love it. Wouldn't that be cute to make these for Valentine's cards? Or a sign for someone for Valentine's Day? Yep, so like I said, just with the just like the other one, you can layer it however you prefer. I mean everyone has a different preference on layering and shadowing, so whatever looks better in your opinion opinion, definitely go with that. So well, that is all I have today for shadowing. If you have any questions, let me know, please. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, other than that, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Take care.